slash ask reddit created by routine reddit. If the headline celebrity outed a serial killer appeared, who would you expect it to be about? Bill Murray. No one will ever believe you. Turns to walk away. You'll never have the chance to tell them. Soon to follow, Ghostbusters movie, where it's just him trying to capture the souls of his victims. This was the actual whispered line in Lost in Translation. Well, he is an alleged domestic abuser. He will just weekend at Bernie's all of the dead around. Creepy. No. No sir. Not Bill. Okay it makes sense. He ate my fries. I hope that Tom Hanks dies peacefully in his sleep at a grand old age, with an untarnished history and nothing but funny stories about colleagues and strangers he helped and made happy. And then they go to clear out the basement of his mansion and just find hundreds and hundreds of human heads in various states of decay. And all have red painted face, and old dry leaves stuck in their head instead of hair. And Tom's last word he first struggles with, but then peacefully whispers is Wilson. I love the idea of a thriller, based on Tom Hanks' slow decline into insanity. Maybe his obsession with biopic portrayals is evidence of his craving to inhabit other people. A desire that eventually spirals out of control. So semi the plot of the burbs. I'm going to kill everyone. Satan is good. Satan is my pal. Ray. You're chanting Ray. The burbs was an. Did gem. No. Just the red herring of the burbs. His son. Colin. Has twice played a serial killer in the series Dexter. And in the movie Lucky. To quote Tom Hanks. The best thing about being seen as the nicest guy in Hollywood. No one ever looks in my backyard for bodies. Hanks secrets. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest. A Ryan Seacrest type. And I'm some lady. What is this? A crossover episode. Commits murder. Seacrest. Out. Ryan secret. Gotta get the youthful skin from somewhere. Someone. He's been taking a lot of days off recently. And he once tried to high five a blind guy. Textbook case of a guy without empathy. Oh, the pain when he realized the blind guy couldn't see. His first victim was Brian Dunkelman. <laughs> Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for daily Reddit videos. Carrot Top. Is he still uncomfortably ripped? I think he lost a little, but he's swell still. He's like the giant carrot that won the state fair blue ribbon. Dude looks like a 50 year old woman that's been through several plastic surgeries, has problem with drugs and alcohol, several DUI charges, but also the body of a pro wrestler. Certain drugs make you faster and stronger. Steroids aren't really much of a drug. I've read that he's a frequent visitor to the brothels near Vegas. Four years I though Carrot Top was that once now border, and I didn't understand why everyone hated him so much. Turns out, no, I was thinking of the flying tomato. That once now border is also a douche. Carrot Top isn't even a douche, he gets hated on by reddit, but he's clearly a pretty decent guy. He is? <laughs> Jodestine. Well he's gotta take people to heaven somehow, whether it be from his gospel, or by his own hands. The lord forgives everyone, but me? I'm just a prophet, so I don't have to- Amen. I love this so much. Yes yes yes. All the A-lister guesses are funny, but my real money would be on any one of the many church scammer types. That hollow charisma, the crowds of yes men, the power coupled with belief in their own righteousness, that's the recipe right there. I honestly think, that dude will be a season of Manhunter. It's only a matter of time before we hear about some mega church pastor banging severed heads in the basement of his mansion. Good opportunity to point to a parody twitter account that retweets all his tweets, replacing the word god with your wiener. <laughs> the first names that popped in my head were Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and Jim Carrey. Tom and John are Scientologists. Jim used to be married to a Scientologist. Weird, almost as if that's maybe a shady organization. Travolta has the authority through their church to kill anyone on church grounds if they are deemed a threat to Scientology. Or so I've heard, there's no way to really know what's up with those wackadoodles. The amount of times in Scientology literature that members are directed to destroy enemies of the church is frightening. They do have their own hunting party for those who abandon the church slash compound. They stake out airports, train stations or loved ones houses. It's literally a cult. I wonder how long it would take to deprogram Kirsty Alley, John Travolta and Tom Cruise, if it could ever be successful. Jim is a crazy unstable anti-science slash anti-vaxxer, 0.100% can imagine him being a serial killer. 
I can't imagine him as a serial killer. He's crazy unstable and anti-vax now, but I think he lost his mind with grief over the Sandy Hook massacre. I can't see him killing another person. He legit freaked out over Sandy Hook. My theory is he got reprogrammed by the Church of Scientology when he married what's her face. Alrighty then. Creed Bratton. B-O-B-O-D-D-Y. Business. I I I I I like it. Good Kevin. I shot and skinned lots of animals in the 60s and early 70s. If a man slipped in there once in a while there'd be no way of knowing. He's a pretty normal dude. He's got one weird thing. He likes to do number two in the women's room. He's been caught several times and has paid daily for it. To be honest I do as well. Well at a previous job one of the ladies toilets was a converted disabled toilet as we didn't have anyone there that would use it. As it was infinitely cleaner than any of the men's toilets in the rest of the building I used it until I got a right told onto the bosses. As a rule I have used the disabled toilets for number two in all the jobs I have had in life. Does that make me an a whole I dunno. Mark Zuckerberg. Mr. Policeman. I did it because it was necessary for the company. Do you feel remorse? Mr. Policeman. I do not understand the question. Sips water. Replenishes coolant. Lizards can't be charged for murder. Wait is he a lizard or a robot? Robot desgost is a lizard desgost is a human. Oh thank. This makes more sense. I thought he was a robot made by lizards. The Olsen twins. They got some menacing eyes. Plot twist. It's only one of the Olsen twins. Can we figure out which one is the good one and which one is the bad one before they kill again? Tune in next week for an updated comment. Sigh. How many times do we have to go over this? There is only one of them, moving back and forth very very fast. Character actress Margot Martindale. Esteemed character actress and fugitive from the law Margot Martindale. Emmy award winning character actress Margot Martindale. Emmy award winning character actress Margot Martindale. Fugitive from the law and presumably dead after a pastor accident at sea. She could ambush me right now, and I'd still say, wait, is that character actress Margot Martindale? And then I get murdered. The other six. Do not drink the apple pie. It's already in the jar. Freaking love those scenes with her apple pie shine. Greatest season of a TV show ever. <laughs> OJ. Simpson. That's one way to put a target on your back. You slash Tana 1980 was found dead by apparent suicide with two bullets to the back of the head. I didn't kill OP, but if I did here's how I would do it in great detail. Detailed in my book, called if I did it. It's weird. The door was kicked in, the neighbors heard a scream of please no, two gunshots which we have identified as the two bullets in the back of the skull, and the sound of a speeding car driving away. Classic suicide. The weapon was not found at the scene. Police suspect OP hid it after his suicide. Come to think of it, OP hasn't said anything in a while. Last time I saw him, he introduced me to his little friend. That guy was loud. <laughs> David Fincher. Between Seven, Zodiac, Mint Hunter, and the rest of his entire filmography, he really seems fascinated with compelling serial killers, sociopaths, and psychopaths. The performances of these characters are always unique captivating, and unnerving. They have an air of authenticity to them. Fincher makes some great films, and I'm not seriously suggesting the dude's a serial killer, but he's probably the only famous person I can think of where, upon being revealed as a serial killer, a common first reaction would be, yeah okay, that explains a lot. Maybe your fascination with David Fincher, a possible serial killer, makes you a serial killer yourself. Maybe it makes him David Fincher. Fincher's very own Tyler Durden. Mon man. Tons of people listen to serial killer podcasts. Fincher has turned that potential hobby into a huge career. Next thing you tell me, Georgia Hardstark and Karen Kilgore if are prime candidates to get outed as serial killers and that just sounds actually kinda plausible. Now that I think about it, it was Steven all along. Steven was a patsy. Elvis was the true culprit. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Watching any of his old movies man, he has fallen so far. Additionally, I bet he wouldn't have been a serial killer on purpose. They're just a constant string of deadly accidents. 
like accidentally swallowing 500 Viagra tablets and shoving a cat over the balcony and then falling to the ground onto a bunch of poor blonde women with a 59% in volume by silicon? Well, he already killed two and a half men, so he's well on his way. Haha, <laughs> nice. That seems more like a murder-suicide pact. I just feel like he isn't clever enough. But bro, he has tiger blood.